Hello and welcome everyone to 4C to the End Season 17. This is going to be the first season without our, let me find him, lovely Frostbreath as lead organizer. He'll just be a pleb player right now and we'll thank him for that. But yeah, to the end season 17, 4C to the end. We'll have quite an interesting game mode. It's called Blood Oracle. Basically the game mode is you can pay half a heart in advance to foresee someone dying. If that person dies within 20 minutes, you get one permanent heart. If they don't, you lose another half a heart. So for example, game starts, I can do, huh. I don't actually know the command, my bad. I can uh, <laughs> foresee Frost Breath's dead, uh, death because he's going to die to a creeper anyway in episode one. And then I'll get one free heart. And that's the game mode. Now I'll leave it to our lovely new head organizer, Zero Times Four, to introduce the players and the teams. All right, so I was going to like write down a short, uh, cool, catchy thing for everyone, but I forgot. So this is all improvised. All right, so the bluish team is uh, the team of Seth, Goss, Joey, and Phased. They're known as the boys. Uh, yep. The another blue team, it's a team of Jake, Pim, and Vernon, which are known as two duchies and him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The red team, we have returning player Holly Mathman from, I don't know, like a few seasons ago. I think maybe 15 or 14, 12, maybe. Yeah, 12. Uh, Kowalski and Jamie, who was a new player. Did I miss any new players? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, Jamie's also here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, here we have Kanako, Speedo, and new player Brent, who I once called B Brent, which is wrong. Sorry. Uh, this, this is my team here, Cold Bacon, BGR, and me. Uh, people are saying we're going to win. That's probably true. Um, here we have newcomer, well, Winter Wolf or Chloe, um, L Hammer fan, and Lagavita. Uh, so that's another blue team, third one. We have uh, first biological girlfriend to the end, Katie Lawson. I mean, <laughs> Rory. Team with uh, Frost and Katie. Uh, we have the orange team, which is uh, Frost, uh, Hecticity, and Very Nice, who teamed in uh, Season 15, I think. Yes. This is empty. And is that all teams? Probably. Maybe. Yeah, we had to scrap yeah. the team. I'm looking. So, yeah. Um, is that all? Yes. All right, you can, like, shout and such. Just, I just want to make this perfectly clear. If I do not get a kill this season, I will have the worst KDR in TTE history. No, I have zero. Well, I've, play, I've played... I, this, this will be my sixth season with no kills. Oh. Alright, we'll get you at least a team. Alright, same yeah. problem. I need to go get my glasses, so we're leaving the chair. Uh-oh. Heck already explained a swind issue that his headphones only work when they're when the cable's in a very specific place, so he doesn't oh. want, he doesn't want to get out of his chair. But unfortunately, he has been, <laughs> he has been forced to leave his chair. Oof! All right, I'll okay. close my windows quick. All right, so yeah, we'll just uh, probably have someone spam tab. Get ready for that yeah. slash BC. <laughs> I hope Katie dies in the first episode. Mm-hmm. Hello. 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 Oh, you're in both of my ears. Oh my god. All yeah. right. Oh, oh no. I actually, I actually oh. didn't realize this was like the season 15 game again. Yeah. So he sent the message. Unlucky. That's right. <laughs> Unlucky. There's quite a lot of good teams in this game and purple. Hello. Good teams and purple. Hello. Yeah, I know. Wow. I felt like most wow. of the teams were quite wow. bad. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Hello, welcome everybody to, to the end scene 17. To the end.
season 15 team putting in hecticity chasmic mm. very nice no phased yeah we dropped him we dropped the dead yep. weight you guys can just... what's up you can't hear my wood i promise <laughs> no, no, we, we definitely right. cannot hear the blocks from your my headphones <laughs> yeah uh lewis has some uh mom headset <laughs> issues give me a minute yo smash a leaf it's, I fixed it. Oh, good, good. Oh, there's so much delay. This is brilliant. Oh, no. It's alright, I'll live. I'll need to go get some new earphones tomorrow. I have enough tickets at the arcade to get some free ones. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't even get high quality ones. They're gonna be great. It's 2,000 tickets, dude. That's a lot. True, dude. You're gonna get, like, candy earbuds. I'm gonna get some, like... Really you gotta get some spirit no fake expense. beats by Dr. Dre. Yes, exactly. Beats for 2,000 2, tickets. I, I actually have like 5,000 tickets right now. So. I want to go to an arcade again. I haven't been there in like 10 years. Me and Dom are going to an arcade tomorrow. Huh? Actually. Yes. Huh? What? <laughs> Me and Speedo had the same idea. <laughs> what happened? They were trying to type out frost in the chat, but me and Speed put G, so it was just frog. <laughs> Lit XD. Lit epic bacon memes. Shout out to Lit Epic mm. Bacon memes. Alright, so I can move my head freely, Yaga. Alright, let me move into the desert and have a look for a yeah, temple. Yeah. If I don't get a temple, I'm killing myself tonight. Well, let's for, let's foresee first. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Give us some more potential right. health. Give us a heads up. <laughs> Alright, I'm killing some moves. Oh. oh my god. What an good. absolute idiot I'm killing yeah. him. He took half a oh, heart, so I'm really hoping lost. he just instantly forso someone. Katie Lawson is two hearts down. Yeah. Oh, I foresaw Frost. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he might for. I, if there's one person in this game who's gonna foresee someone for his episode, it'd be Venny. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Katie okay, got attacked by a baby zombie. Boys, we end there with already getting those iron leggings. Katie, good at the game now, by the way. Oh yeah, she, apparently she's now good at the game. Uh, I seriously, I seriously doubt it, but uh. She, that's what she said. Uh, that is what she said. Don't believe her lies. <laughs> Alright, so, so goals for I this game are getting Dom a kill. Is there another yeah. on? Yep. A kill would be nice. My kill got stolen from me from Jake last season. Oh, it feels bad. I, um, I, I, got, I was already using the killer side, but Jake snagged it. I can't even remember, like... When I got my last kill, I, I didn't get a kill the first season. I didn't get a kill last season because Jake snagged it. So I'm hoping I'll. If I can get, if I can get three kills, I'd be so happy to just have a one KDR. Mm -hmm. If I could get six kills and just bring it up to a two, that'd be heavenly. But you know, that's just not happening because I haven't gotten yeah. more than like six kills in a public game for months. Yeah, I don't. This is like this was like a first randomize, and the, the teams were quite even. Well, well, <laughs> there's one. I mean, there's one. There's one team I might disagree with. Which one? Purple <laughs> temple. Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah. That was indeed the. That's the outlier. I already found a village, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned it. I have twenty-one books. Oh, nice. That's that's when I said, Venny, you deserve. Uh... And and Venny has his team, which is kind of above the curve. Uh someone's right next to it. I'm hoping that they're dumb and are getting the wood first. They're not. Aww. Temple bomb. <laughs> Who is it? If it's KD, then you can easily jump in. Because KD's an idiot. Holy map, man. Aw, oh, Holly's might go for it pretty quick. That's a shame. <gasps> oh! I was about to be rid of him in chat and it gave me one gold. Aww. Aww. Holly's the best. Oh, the goodest boy. I found Speedo. He wants some stone. Holly actually is the goodest boy. He, he's close. Wait. He's up there. 
Yeah, well, Speedo just ran straight through me, so watch out. We go. We got some competition around here. These parts. This is our town, scrub. He he wanted stone, but I gave him iron. It's lumber. <laughs> I'm really glad I have that one gold. I actually hope that one gold is like the reason that we somehow kill him or his team. <laughs> mm, yeah. It's like we pick up some, we pick up someone, we kill some player, we pick up enough gold, and we have the exact amount for more healing thanks to that yeah. one gold. <laughs> yeah. Or like he has like one less than the amount of gold. Oh, he has like he has like he has kills someone, but he only has seven gold. Oh, <laughs> he feels bad. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> be, be hilarious. One gold for three iron. Not very great trade for him, but <laughs> I think I'll uh, come out of this one smiling. I don't know, man. What if all iron just disappears? <laughs> oh no! To be honest, I think it was like episode two before I got full iron last time, or like maybe episode three because oh. the map was odd. Oh yeah. And I don't think I mined any gold or diamonds that game. Do you know my least favorite thing about recorded runs is the silence uh, that I always have background music for whatever I do. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's literally like even if like the conversation is flowing as fluidly as it is now, like it's just there's nothing. It's emptiness behind it. It's so sad. Yeah. Last it's time I uh, last recorded run I played, I grabbed a dictionary and like. Whenever we would run out of a conversation topic, I'd just point out a random word and we'll talk about that. <laughs> very nice. good. That's a, that's a pretty yeah, interesting to, conversation. I used there. to listen to non-copyright music when playing recorded drums, but now I want to do the um, highlighted episodes and it wouldn't oh, work yeah. like that. I want to do highlighted episodes for stuff, but I'm lazy. I did highlighted episodes for Fission and I got lots of views, so I just think it's the way up. Yeah, I, I think so too. But, you know, see yeah, me. the only problem with uh, how Adeptus is definitely kind of the future, but the only problem is is convincing like everyone in a round to do it, because there yeah. are some people who I just mean, have no motivation to edit all that. No, everyone has to do it. Like you can do it if you want, right? Yeah. I think I it should it should maybe get to a point where one person per team should do it, so yeah. that everyone has a choice to watch a full episode or whatever. I don't. Know. I I don't. Know. I just feel like, especially like, to the end being an old record around, it's like. Half yeah. of the people don't play UHC anymore. Yeah, I agree. So it's like, those people will just like get a 20 minute episode up and they won't really care. Yeah, true. They'll just play it for like memories and uh, like get it yeah. over with. And I'm, I'm like probably one of those as well, but. No, no, I, I play definitely more than both of you two, but. Oh, no doubt. I don't play often enough or like too often but whenever i do play i do bad so yeah i've probably played chance. less than five uac games this entire year oh. damn yeah i probably damn. played less than five this week i think like <laughs> this this week <laughs> i mean probably i'm just gonna do some cooking of some iron next to these witch noises hmm. Hmm. I just hear yeah, I just see the witch through the wall and I'm just like I don't like this at all, but I'm gonna do it. I'm so glad that I can actually just chill make a furnace and smell. Like it's so weird for me to say that for being like one of the bigger advocates for cut clean when nobody liked it, but it's just too much now with the hasty boys and the What the fuck even is that? The, like everything's so fast. Boys. Everything has efficiency three. What the fuck? It's bad. People, like, I understand people, when it's on paper, it sounds good because you get to dig fast and it's just less boring. And to an extent, like, things are just quicker. But if you think into the actual details of the game mode, people are going to be able to gear up so much faster. Pro 2 and 3 armor is just definitely going to be a thing. Yeah. Um, and then my biggest problem with it is whenever someone, like, comes to me in a cave or backstabs me in a cave, my instant reaction, pick up some blocks and just... 16 CPS from against yeah. the wall, so that like I'm blocked off. It'll take them at least a couple of seconds to get in. I can heal and and think for a second. You no, know, I place all these blocks and they break them within one second, and then they kill me. And I was actually thinking of making to the end like maybe making it like a 1.5 only round. Like yeah, my that would be interesting. Because I feel I don't 
I feel like to the end, the players just want to have a fun time, and they want to have like an actual challenge, and not have yeah. like three what players think... be like actual gods at the game and just destroy everyone. Yeah, I agree with that. Having something that's going to be a challenge for everyone, I think, will need to be a thing for such a contrasting roster in terms of skill. Yeah, I think that's something that should maybe be thought uh, talk, talked about before next season. That's, that's one. That's one unfortunate thing you kind of have to consider nowadays when it comes to rosters is skill gap. Because if you have a huge skill gap in your roster, then seasons yeah. become quite samey and with the same people I winning. I mean, there's BGR who's no doubt the best. BGR who literally won like three seasons in a row. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then there's there's me. If I'm playing well, I'm also really good. Like I'm just gonna say, like I'm gonna like I'm not trying to brag, but like. I, although I've not been playing well recently, so it shouldn't be a problem this round. Um, if I'm playing on my game, then I'm going to be a high contender to, like, mm -hmm. probably snowball in a round. Like I did with Sir Tamara back in the day. Yeah, no, but that's what I mean, like, just... And that's like, why, like, with 1.5, like you're saying, would be a good all, challenge for like, everyone. Getting loot, like, getting gold, getting diamonds is already, like, way diff more difficult. Mobs yeah. are actually, like, hacking in that. <laughs> That's and, all good things though, like it makes it more tough. That's why. Yeah, I, I, I remember that, that should be talked about. I remember like having a ton of fun in like the first, I don't know, like eight seasons to the end. And after that it just became a bit of like a regular thing, just like, oh hey, it's yeah. to the end again. As, yeah, as the game has changed, Mojang has kind of, made, Mojang has changed the game to be better for a survival audience. Which, if, I mean, obviously that's what they should be doing, but that's also had the kind of the adverse effect that it goes against UHC. Because UHC yeah. is just kind of, it's it's almost when it comes to like how the game should be played, it's almost like a very anti-survival. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Because literally right now it's way too easy to get gold. People just have like ten gaps each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I agree. Like, just, like, there's even any way that I could like it could be brought back to public game. Yeah, sis yeah, systems that are put in place by Mojang that end up being too complicated or too much for a survival audience is what tends to be the best for UHC because it makes things a little mm -hmm. trickier. But then once they open it up to a survival audience, it makes it too easy for UHC players. Yep. I don't, I don't get why people... People, like, I... Me, Cute, and Bahia and Ash were on a team at Discord, and Cute was arguing that 90 minute... 75 minute or 90 minute games should be the norm. And then yeah, Dahi, I actually agree with that. That he's like, 50 or 60 should be the norm because it's boring otherwise. And, like, I understand both points of views, but what I don't understand is why people are trying so hard to make UHC quicker when originally UHC was a long game. Oh, yeah. It's like... It's like it's like probably one of the probably one of the most beloved nostalgic seasons of Minecraft, season ten, the team of three one. That was five hours long. Yeah. People forget that that yeah. was five hours long, and it's and it's a beloved nostalgic season. I it's like Survivor right now, which is really thriving within the UHC community. Oh yeah, that has sessions of at least six hours at a time. And yeah. nobody complains about the length of it because it's consistently fun. But yeah, what it's... people are starting to find boring is caving for so long because mm -hmm. it's no longer a challenge and it's just okay. Well, I'm half diamond, seven gaps yeah. now. Like I'm gonna go fight. The cave. Like, I, 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 I understand when people try to make UHC more about the skill and about, and trying to That's reduce like... the and reduce the dependency of the caving. But once you, if you try to reduce the, your dependency on a half of the game, then you just introduce yeah. a game which has half of it which is fun and half of it which is boring. And I even mean, yeah, and even that half that you enjoy you're not, the game. and even that half you enjoy, you're not even guaranteed to do well in that. You yeah, have exactly. to you have to endure the boring part to see if the fun part's worth it. Oh fuck. It's, it's with the uh, it's like the the fact that um it's, it's because caving is so easy that people want yeah. shorter games be because what you'll do is you'll you'll cave pretty well you'll get half diamond seven gas like i said you'll go to zero zero and you'll wait you'll wait you'll wait people come at me up full diamond 20 gas each and it's like that's why games should be shorter and i agree with it in that aspect but it's not length that should be changed to to combat this in my opinion it's um actual like you say like going maybe down a version or completely changing the way caving works and just lowering the rates to even more yeah. than what they normally are. Things need to change, and I agree with it, because longer games are too boring right now, but I don't think it's the actual time that's the main problem. I think I it's think actually... The main problem is people have gone too good, and that's not a problem, wow. but it's... Oh, let's go play. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, I love that this is consistently a thing now when playing RRs yeah. and Arctic. It's just like, oh, game, let's go play. Scenario. Oh, strip mining a bet is not allowed, right? No, probably not. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. I feel like people have just gone too good. Like, yeah, I agree with that. And it's back like... when I played, you just had like, a, like a handful of good. You had like pre, you had Krenz, you had thirds. So they were they were like, like goats, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And but it's not because they were like good at I don't know like finding diamonds uh, and sort fighting to death and like running away for 10 hours it's because they like had a good shot and I don't yeah. know they you, were consistent you, back in the day you would fight who you saw and then you would have a fun time doing that yeah. whereas now it's like and quite rightfully so you see someone that you're not going to beat so you run and you play really uh-huh. annoyingly against them and I completely agree with doing that it's just uh-huh. overall makes the game less fun for everyone because yeah. you're not having fun doing it they're not having fun but then again it's like why would you fight them just to lose I think mm-hmm. people have just become a bit more game conscious and yeah, smart yeah. and aware. It's not yeah, necessarily it even like... it's just we've been playing for so long that we know what's smart and what isn't. The game has to become more even. Yeah, I mean, people at meetups now, and it's so smart but so annoying. People at meetups that are low on health, well, someone will be on five hearts, but they'll have six gaps, and they're not healing because they don't want to get targeted. And it's smart, but it's annoying because then it's like there's just so much that's going on instead of just mm-hmm. having a fun game it's so sweaty to win and you can't really argue it because it makes sense why people are doing it mm-hmm. it's just hard it's, it's a hard thing to try and get back to what it was i yep. agree see i think you like going back a version i think one point like to the end season five was one of my favorite seasons just because like the game actually felt like difficult mm-hmm. yeah no, I, I think going back a version is probably actually what something the community haven't thought of, and they probably wouldn't accept even if it was mentioned. But something that yeah, just needs it seems it, it seems it seems that when it ever comes to versions, mostly the topic is people going forward. It's like it's like it's like, it's, people, it's, like we can't move forward because, and it's like, well, what if we moved back? Nobody said it, but I doubt anyone mm-hmm. would accept it anyway. Yeah, it's it's it, it, you can, even kind of nowadays it's still. It's still kind of like the moving back is still kind of a tentative subject because like there's like servers that are like 1.7 and yeah they're not I'm not gonna okay I don't think they're they're not necessarily unpopular it's just they're not really kind of the it's, main it's focus. Hard because they are popular they're just nobody I don't want to use that word but nobody relevant plays at them yeah I think that's honestly I think that's a kind of a fair comment it's yeah. I. It's like when it, like one point eight like when it comes to I know like you know people are going like talking back the day like oh I used to recognize everyone plays in the UHC and stuff. It's like if you play a one point eight game, you're kind of familiar with a, a good amount of the players in it. At least yeah. you're like like maybe not personally, but like you kind of you do yeah. un- recognize their names from games. But like with one point seven stuff, it's like no, you'll, you you won't know any you won't know anyone. Mm-hmm. And I like it's farther back that it needs to go. It needs to go back to the horse update or. 1.5 1. like it, <laughs> we need to go deeper boys. Back, back to the horse update skill boy's gonna be happy if i like i would need to i don't know i feel like investing in a lower version server would actually probably be i think frosto has a server and like for oh, really? 2 i'm totally down for it and i'm definitely gonna run it by zero no, I, I would stand by that suggestion maybe uh, maybe not uh, i think maybe not a complete switch but like i think i think it'd be def- i definitely welcome a f- more Past well, it needs to be more common, I think. 1.12 games, I played them and I really liked them, but I don't yeah. think swapping to it completely would be a good idea. Oh, yeah. I think it's a fun game mode. I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't think there's any like there. There are of course 1.12 rounds and rounds that do 1.12, but I don't think it's possible for a round that was a 1.8 round to switch to a 1.12 because you'd no. lose you'd lose you'd lose people in the process. And but like in public games, I'm talking about like it's fun, but it's not what I think you you should be. Yeah, it's I do I, I do also enjoy it. I like the challenge of it, but the thing for me is it's just it's very slow. Mm-hmm. Like I understand, of course, we've been spending this whole time saying that people shouldn't be trying to make the game faster, but I think. 1.12 took it a little too far with yeah. the speed, and yeah. it's every every I, aspect of the I, game I, has become slower. I agree. Yeah, I genuinely think the perfect calendar that would be the most um, games would actually be different each time. There would be fun, blah blah blah. The the thing we could hope for the most is like 1.1.2 games every so often. 1.5 games. Yeah. There's a 1.7. There's a 1.8. 
1.12. It's like you instead of just joining a game, you check for the version because the version is going to be dependent on what type of game you're playing. It just has to be like more diverse. Oh, oh it's the end yeah. of episode, by the way. Hey. Bye. Right. See ya.